everyone, this is Rena. I just posted a recipe video yesterday, my first one, mock tuna, which uses sunflower seeds as the meat, in quotes. Today, I would like to post my cheese recipe. Now, cheese is properly spelled with a Z to distinguish it from cow paws and or coagulated cow paws, I should say. And some people have, you know, remarked online that they can do just about anything vegan, but cheese is what always trips them up because they love it so much. And, you know, of course there are vegan cheeses, but I have never found one that was acceptable to me, quite honestly. And they're very expensive and they are also, sometimes they actually taste really gross. I haven't tried all of them, but I didn't think that that was going to be an acceptable substitute for me. So I saw numerous recipes for cheese sauce that uses cashews as its base. And I, you know, I might have initially been a little bit skeptical about it because, you know, how much light cheese can it be? But trust me, this is an amazing cheese recipe. And I have never made it like so thick that it becomes, you know, almost like a solid chunk. I think you have to, you can either dehydrate it a little bit or, you know, sometimes they add some kind of um, thickening agent like agar flakes that can, you know, thicken it into a block and then you can slice it. So that's always a possibility if you want to take it that far. What I have done with this cheese is use it for my kale chips. And it is like so luscious and so cheesy and yummy that you would not believe that. Another thing you can do is pour it over either whole wheat or rice pasta. And I'm, you know, I would say like shells or macaroni shape pasta, you know, like making, um, you know, cashew cheese macaroni, and you can even bake it in the oven if you want like a cooked dish. But this stuff is just so amazing on just about anything you can think of. Another thing that I've done with it is to slather it on collard leaf leaves and then you know uh, add chopped tomato black olives oh you know what else do i use sometimes sprouted you know, like pea shoots or just other type of sprouts and then roll it and eat it like a raw burrito, a burrito. And it is absolutely delicious that way. And then you have a raw meal. Obviously the cashews are not raw because of the way that they're processed to take off the shells, but it still can be considered at least semi-raw, which is nice. When you have, you know, raw burritos or, you know, anything else, you might use it as a, a cheese dip with um, slices of radish, slices of beets, stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you decide to make it, let me know what you think. All right. See you guys. Bye. Here's the recipe.